Right. Good morning to you morning, too, Kyle. Ross. You look refreshed as well, so do I. Uh, rough night's sleep last night. Pretty muggy out there. We set some records yesterday. Here we go, province-wide. Now, we had a little glitch in our uh, automated weather stations. I do, can't tell you what the old records were, but I can confirm these are new records for Sunday. 37 degrees in a little bit, leading the way. Uh, locally, how about 35 in Chilliwack? Just missing the old mark, dating back to 1925. And yes, we set a series of records on Saturday as well. It was into the 30s all across the lower mainland. That heat wave it's over and done with. We look at our satellite shot now and moving in from the north, there's a little bit of a low pressure system. The warm air on the southern flank of this jet stream, we're still into that warm air mass, but we're getting a nice influx of marine air around the bend now. Things are clouding over in the mornings, cooling off in the afternoons. It's not going to be so scorching. What I see happening in the Fraser Valley is really some clouds initially today, trending mainly sunny, 26 degrees. Compare that to the 35 you saw yesterday in Chilliwack and you just know we're almost 10 degrees cooler for today. Day. Similarly, in the Metro Vancouver, clouds this morning, all about the sun this afternoon, maybe 24 downtown, about 22 degrees on the shoreline. So if you're taking it to the beach, it's still sunscreen weather. The heat is not going to wear you out. And here we go with a similar pattern really through most of this week. Morning cloud, afternoon sun, the mercury in the low 20s. Long range picture for that long weekend. I don't think it's going to rain, not initially. It might be Sunday, Monday. We'll sneak a 20% probability of rain in there. On the whole, looking much more comfortable kind of forecast that Goldilocks might appreciate, right, Kyle?